It's Tuesday, October 28, 2014. Good morning. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com. Clouds will continue to increase this morning with afternoon storms. We have the latest details. It's going to turn much colder. Find out how cold it looks to get and snow for your Halloween. Get all the details on that and much more starting right now. Clouds are increasing across the area this morning as a cold front approaches from the west. The line of showers and storms you see here, it's diminishing this morning right in through here, but we're going to have to watch for some redevelopment later this morning and this afternoon. Also, we're going to watch for uh, anything coming up from the southwest as everything is kind of riding to the northeast along the front. Um, additionally, we're looking at some warm temperatures for this morning. Temperatures in the mid and upper 60s, couple 70s out there. Uh, Port Clinton and uh, even uh, Cuyahoga County Airport over in Richmond Heights is checking in at 70 degrees. Our cool spot, if you will, this morning is Dover, New Philadelphia at a uh, bl blustery 64 degrees. These are actually above our average highs for this time of year. So it's going to be a very warm day, but clouds are going to increase. You may see some breaks of sun, though, just ahead of that rain. Don't be fooled by that. Then the rain's going to move in this afternoon. We're going to take a look at one of the latest model trends in just a moment. First, uh, let's take a look across the rest of of the country you can see how expansive this system is the upper level low pressure system with this whole package sits right there and then the cold front sweeps down to the south and west from there very very cold air behind it yeah we're looking at 20s and 30s this morning for parts of the northern central plains and also out into the uh, intermountain west and yeah that cold air is coming our way how cold is it going to get wait until you see the temperatures the highs in our seven day forecast in just a moment look at the extremes for yesterday here the high 73 we started out at a low of 35 we are on both sides of the averages of 58 and 42 respectively it'll be another warm day today but we're not going to hit the record high of 81 no rain yesterday sunrise 7 54 a.m and sunset is at 6 28 p.m we do have the time change coming up this weekend and we'll talk more about that in tomorrow's video i want to focus on the cold front coming through this afternoon and this evening is going to bring some big changes to the area first is going to be showers and storms this afternoon mainly between two and five they roll through around uh, one o'clock right here we have this nice bowing line of showers and storms coming through cleveland and just west of akron this could be some strong gusty winds in here as well and some of them could get quite strong to briefly severe this afternoon storms continue moving through the area west to east by about four or five o'clock and here we are at about seven o'clock and you can see much of this is off to our east but behind it is much colder air and we do have a risk, a very small risk it is, for a few damaging wind gusts with some of these storms this afternoon as they come through along the cold front. It's very windy aloft, and some of that wind could get mixed down to the surface uh, from the storms that do roll through along the cold front. So that's basically our only threat this afternoon, and it's going to be, you know, a pretty low threat to not looking at any sort of organized severe weather. All right, our forecast for today features uh, some high clouds this morning, and then storms start working into the west around lunchtime with storms this afternoon and falling temperatures. We should reach our high of 73 degrees. Winds are going to be out of the southwest, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Could get quite gusty at times, though, especially just ahead of that front. You can see by about 2, 3 o'clock as that front comes through, temperatures will start to fall and they'll fall into the middle 60s by dinner time. Akron and Canton we're really not looking at much different here I think we could get a little bit warmer I've adjusted the high now to a 74 degrees uh, it just depends how much sun we can keep out ahead of that line of storms but it is certainly possible especially with the southwest wind ushering in some warmer air into the area. Overnight tonight we're gonna have a few rain showers early off to the east at seven o'clock and then we're gonna re kind of clear out out just a little bit will partially clear out overnight very chilly by morning a low of 43 degrees and then over the next seven days here oh brr 52 for your wednesday mainly cloudy and then uh, we don't get any better from there 49 for your thursday mostly cloudy it's going to be kind of a drizzly dreary day not going to be a good day to be out 
Halloween Friday. How about a rain and snow mix possible on and off during the day for your Halloween? A very raw high of 45 degrees. We're looking at a chance for a few snow showers Friday night and then lake effect rain and snow possible on Saturday. However, we could have to change this to just snow for Saturday. Stay tuned for the latest. Friday night's low 29, Saturday only 36 degrees little taste of winter there for you sunday high pressure moves in mainly sunny skies 42 though after starting out around 25 and then we start to warm up as we head into next week mostly sunny and 55 for your monday but temperatures will only gradually climb will we get warmer again be sure to stay right here at neoweather.com for the latest